Good morning, everybody. It's about 7.30 this morning on Saturday. I'm gonna go check my bees before it gets unbearably hot. Um, we got a lot of new beekeepers watching and um, I, don't, I know I've never done a video on how to light a smoker. I know you can find plenty of videos online about how to light a smoker, but I'm gonna show you how I light my smoker. Um, one thing I will say, if you're just getting started out beekeeping, one thing that'll help you is get you a bucket Fill with pine straw. Um, it doesn't have to be anything special. You can rake it up out of your yard. You don't have to go buy a bale of pine straw or anything like that. Um, but um, make sure it's good dry pine straw. Keep it in your bucket that seals, and that way you keep moisture and water out of it. Um, and that way, when you do need to go work your bees real quick, even if it's been raining for three days and you're like, oh man, I need to go work my bees everything's wet, you've got dry pine straw. So, um, I don't know that there's a right way and a wrong way. Well, I guess there probably is a wrong way to light a smoker um, because you want your smoker to burn cool. You don't want to be blowing your bees with hot smoke. Um, and you don't want your smoker, you don't have to keep relighting your smoker every five minutes because it keeps going out. So when you light your smoker, you want to pack it tight. You want tight pack of pine straw, kind of like a, if you've ever smoked cigarettes, I hope you haven't because cigarettes are bad, but um, you know, the tighter you pack cigarettes, the, the, the longer, the slower they burn, the better the smoke, whatever, however that goes. I don't know, I don't smoke cigarettes. So, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna initially just take a little clump of pine straw, kind of roll it up. You get the, I, I use these lighters that way in case I knew need to stick it down in there, I can. Um, I'm just gonna get this going, get it lit, stick it down in there. Just kind of loosely at first, give it a couple puffs, get that smoke rolling. Once the smoke's going, you know it's on fire, get a little bit bigger clump of pine straw, stick that in down there. But as you're puffing, you don't want to choke it out. Just kind of slowly puff it down in there. And I know I'm probably smoking out the camera so you can't see. But I'm smoking myself out. But every now and then give it a puff. I'm going to switch to this side because smoke's <coughs> killing it. Keep puffing it every now and then. Make sure it don't go out. Get you another handful of pine straw. Shove it down in there while you're puffing. Pack it in tight. Smoke out the camera so you can't see anything. And as you can see, if I stop puffing, the smoke dies down. And it's not going out. It's just kind of smoldering down in there. And that's what you want. You want it smoldering. Maybe a little bit more pine straw. Now you can overpack it and uh, snuff the flame out down in there. But if you do it right, keep puffing every now and then, you get cool white smoke. Now that's packed in there pretty good. Now if you pack your smoker right, you will not have to relight that smoker. See how it's just kind of smolder. Now if you don't puff it for a long time, it might go out. See how it's just smoldering? That's what you want. Give it a puff, you get that smoke stirred back up in there. If it does start going out, give it a few good hard puffs. That'll get it back going again. Just like starting a fire, all right? Once you get it full, now that's pretty full. I can I could maybe put a little bit more in there, but I'm not going to because I don't need a whole lot today. Um, go ahead and close your top off. Seal it up. When you're ready, you give that thing a few good puffs and you can see it's smoking good. Now, that smoke coming out of there, it's a little warm, obviously, because it's fire, but it's not burning my hand at all. So, that is how I light a smoker. That is how I recommend you light a smoker. I guess the point is, if you can get your smoker lit and keep it going without burning out, without having to refill it, then you've done it right. But, the main key is you want cool, white smoke. 
you don't want to choke your bees out you don't want to put anything unnatural in there um, and you don't want to burn your bees when you're puffing your smoke and a lot of people use way too much smoke when they're smoking their bees anyway you don't need but a little bit so cheap bucket i get mine at uh firehouse subs you get a bucket and a lid that's food grade for i think three dollars a piece the only problem is they smell like pickles so i don't know if i'd put honey in it but uh you as long as it doesn't smell like pickles anymore you do what you do um hope you enjoyed the video all right we're back i just uh <clears throat> showed you how to light a smoker I took that smoker, I went out, I checked three hives. Um, that's all I've got at the moment. Um, now I did not go all the way down into the brood boxes of those hives. I opened them up. I went through the honey boxes, the supers. I made sure they had honey to eat. That was my main concern uh, is that they had some food to eat. Puffing them here, puffing them there. I think I've smoked myself more than I did the bees just to kind of keep them calm and keep them off of me. So, this same smoker, as you can see, is still going. It's still got good white smoke rolling out of it. The smoke's fairly cool. I mean, it's warm, obviously, but it's cool. Off that same pack, you can see it's nowhere near the top. If I start poking, puffing that real good, it'll flame up. And just to show you, and that's how much pine straw I've still got in there. So, I show you this to say that if you pack your smoker right, your pine straw will last you a good while. It'll burn cool, and you won't have to relight it, repack it, this and that. So, I, uh, I hope that helps you out. Hey, when I was a kid, my grandfather got me into beekeeping and um, I would go stay with him in the summer. And, you know, there's not really a whole lot for kids to do sometimes. I'd say, Papa, will you light a smoker and let me play with your smoker? He'd say, yeah. So he'd come out and he'd light a smoker up and I'd smoke ant holes and holes in trees and any hole I could find to blow smoke into, I did. Just playing around. And that thing, he would light it and it would last me for hours. So... And that's, you know, being a kid and puffing everything I could find. Um, so practice lighting your smoker. Go out, get get you a bunch of pine straw, go out, light your smoker up. You get it lit, puff it a while, you know, see how well it does. If you ain't got bees to check or whatever, um, let your kids play with it. Let kids be kids. That's probably some of my best memories is playing with my papa's smoker as a kid. So, um, you know, it ain't hurt nothing. Just make sure you don't set nothing on fire i never did if you got good smoker smoke you're not gonna set anything on fire it's not hot enough so anyway i say that to uh you know practice go out light your smoker up see how well you do see find a find a technique that works for you um anyways i uh, hope you enjoy the videos um if you're thinking about getting into beekeeping do it there's plenty of people around that can help you out plenty of information to find um, so you guys, uh, stay safe out there.